Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the hydraulic conductivity of layered soil or layered porous media consisting of two distinct layers of uh, porous layer differing in uh, texture or uh, particle size distribution. Okay, so let's assume this is our layered porous media. This is layered one with the thickness of L1 and this is layer two. This is with the thickness of layer uh, with the thickness of L2 uh, and hydraulic conductivity of layer 2 is K2 and hydraulic conductivity of layer 1 is K1 okay during a steady state uh, flow of liquid let's say water through this column because of conservation of mass we know that Q1 that is the flux through the layer 1 should be equal to uh, flux through the layer 2 Q2 should be equal to Q that is the flux through the entire column okay so Therefore, if you write Darcy's law for layer 1, you can write Q is equal to minus K1 times the gradient of the pressure across layer 1. Okay, let's assume the pressure head at the inlet is equal to H1, at the interface between, K, between layer 1 and layer 2 is equal to H2, and at the outlet is equal to H3. Okay, so therefore Q will be equal to minus K1 times h1 minus h2 divided by l1 okay so from this equation you can conclude that minus q times l1 divided by k1 is equal to h1 minus h2 therefore h2 will be equal to h1 plus q times l1 divided by k1 okay let's call this as equation number one okay So now you can follow the same procedure for uh, for the for layer two. That is, you can write Q the Darcy velocity is equal to minus K two times the pressure gradient across layer two, which will be equal to minus K two times uh, H two. That is the pressure at the interface minus H three divided by L two. Okay. From this equation, you can conclude that minus Q L2 divided by K2 will be equal to H2 minus H3. Therefore, H2, the pressure at the interface, will be equal to H3 minus Q L2 divided by K2. Okay? So let's number this equation and as equation 2. Okay? So from equation 1 and equation 2, uh, you can conclude that. Uh, Remember, equation 1 was that H2 is equal to H1 plus Q times L1 K1, okay? And equation 2 was H2 equal to H3, the pressure at the outlet, minus Q, uh, L2, K2. Sorry, this one should be K1, okay? So H2 is equal to H1 plus Q L1 divided by Q1, K1. That is based on uh, equation 1 and equation 2 is H2 equal to H3 minus Q L2 divided by K2. Therefore, from these two equations, you can conclude that H1 plus Q L1 divided by K1 is equal to H3 minus Q L2 times uh, divided by K2. Okay? And from this equation, you can conclude that H1 minus H3 will be equal to uh, Q uh, minus Q times L1 divided by K1 plus L2 divided by K2. Okay, let's name this equation as equation 3. We will uh, need this equation later. Okay, so now we have an expression uh, to describe the difference between the pressure between inlet and outlet as a function of Darcy velocity and the thickness and hydraulic properties of the uh, hydraulic uh, conductivity of the of each layer okay so now if we apply the Darcy velocity uh, Darcy equation across the entire column one can write Q is equal to minus K effective that is the hydraulic conduct effective hydraulic conductivity of the entire uh, uh, column or entire layer porous media times the gradient of the pressure across this layered system which will be equal to minus K effective times 
uh, H1, that's the pressure at the inlet, minus pressure at the outlet, divided by the length, that is L1 plus L2. But from equation 3, we already have an expression for H1 minus H2. So you can rewrite this equation as Q equal to minus K effective times, instead of H1 minus H3, we basically use equation 3, that is minus Q times L1 divided by K1 plus L2 divided by K2 times uh, this uh, term which is 1 divided by 1 plus L1 uh, the 1 divided by L1 plus L2 okay so here this minus sign times this minus sign will be the positive sign and this Q will be cancelled out by this Q therefore from this equation one can conclude that K effective will be equal to L1 plus L2 divided by uh, L1 divided by K1 plus L2 divided by K2. And this is the solution to our question. So now we have an equation that uh, can be used to calculate the effective hydraulic conductivity of layered porous media, such as layered soil, as a function of the thickness of each layer, and which is L1 and L2, and the hydraulic conductivity of each layer, which is K1 and K2. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you are interested, please feel free to subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.